Hello everyone, welcome to Toy Talks. To all our beautiful subscribers, we say thank you so much for staying with us. And if you're new here, we are happy you find us. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit on that notification button so that you will be notified um, for more upcoming videos. In the comment section, please know that we're grateful to comment. Thank you for watching. So I'll see you in my next video. Stay safe, stay blessed. I love you. Bye. All those uh, bazooka, where did they drop? Professor, they drop for us. He needs to come and talk. Oh. Ah. Daddy, we can hear you now again, sir. Can you hear us? Hi. Hi, then, Bo. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, no. All right. Um... Maybe if this is not going to work, then maybe we make it a call. I will maybe probably just call him and let me try and call him first. Hold on, please. Hello, 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 so I think probably your speaker probably is having issues. Would it be your speaker? Do you have any of the students around to assist to check your phone? Is it possible? Are you talking to Professor Abiyaje? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Okay. Let me see somebody to help me check my speaker. Yes. Somebody is. Ah, my problem. Stunned Enuma. Uh -huh. On so show should, should we join you again? Should we add you to the stream again, or you want to do it by talking to us like this so that I won't stress you? Hello, ma. Sir? my speaker, my my speaker is on now. Okay, sir. Do you want to try again? Do do we add you? To the stream again. Oh, as you, I, as you want it. Okay, sir. I will, I would love you to be added to the stream. Uh -huh. But if that is not going to work, then we do this calling thing. Then you talk to us. So let me give it another try one more time. Then if it's not going to work, okay. then we, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. No problem. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um. Please, if you know you want to be part of this stream, kindly be respectful in your comments. Uh, um, we are not talking to the person coming on board is old, is an old man. And even if he's not an old man, please be respectful and civil in your comments. If you want to be part of this stream, let, let me first block this person. You're going to be the first victim on this page now, on this stream. Ban, yeah. Bombay person, don't worry. Multi block, okay. I'll block the person. So, so let, let me try and hide him again. And if this is not going to work, then uh, we just go ahead and okay. sometimes, Oman Shelebe. Okay, daddy, I'm trying to hide you again. So, if it's not going to work, then we just do what we're calling. Hello, Saka. Can you hear us hear us now? Okay. He's still joined, trying to join. Okay. I have logged him already. What he removed? I have removed him. Kingsley, I've taken him off the platform. I am hearing you. Oh, good, sir. So, um, we are welcome, Daddy. We want to say thank you for giving us the time. I want to appreciate you for giving me this opportunity to really bring you um, on my live stream. Thank you so much, sir. Um, a lot of people are waiting to hear from you, and I'm going to leave the floor for you as you introduce yourself to us, sir.
I'm not sure this is going to work. So that will not really even waste his own time because he's in the office and he's doing this for us. So uh, let us do it calling. Daddy Markway, let's do it a calling show. Share I think calling. Call Mom, oh, okay. oh, okay. Share your local convenience for you. Be English, sir. I, I think I should be okay with either I should be okay with either language. Okay. So all right, sir. So please can you introduce yourself to us, Daddy? Professor. No, we go we go for English because uh, I have non-speaking Yoruba speakers on the on my show. There are so many. So for their benefit, we'll stay on English. Uh, yeah. uh, okay. I am Professor Payoso Yenira Abioje. You're welcome, sir. Uh, um, on your profile, sir, I saw that you are um, a professor in uh, religious studies, precisely Christian studies. Yes, I am. I am. All right. Thank Good, you sir. for... Yeah. Go ahead, sir. Yes. Hello, sir. Can you hear me, sir? Yeah. I was going to appreciate you too for for calling me and for including me in your program. I'm honored, sir. Yes. Thank you. I am honored too. So can you give us brief, um, you've introduced yourself and you've told us that you are a professor. On your, prof on your bio, on your Facebook page, I'm reading it right now. It says you are a professor of Christian studies with interest in ATR, Department of Religion, and you are a professor in the University of Illinois precisely. Now, can you give us a brief, um, deep insight into this Christian study that you are a professor in, sir. Yeah, uh, uh, my PhD was in uh, Christian theology. That means study of Christian doctrines. Uh, but in University of Illinois, what they are doing is Christian studies. That's why I'm a professor of Christian studies. Otherwise, I should be professor of Christian theology. Theology is about doctrine of God, study of God from Christian perspective. But as an African, I also include a study of African traditional religion and culture in my studies. Uh, I don't know if uh, I'm coming through clearly. I'm yes. seeing some issues with uh, network. We can hear uh, you clearly. Thank we you. can hear you, Professor. Clearly, sir. We are hearing you clearly. Okay. Yes. So the ATR is African traditional religion, sir. Yes. Okay. So now, from the two perspectives, you said one is a Christian theology that teaches about God from Christian perspective, and the other one is African traditional um, religion. Okay. Are they teaching okay. the same thing or different things, sir? Pardon? Now, I, the question, sir. Um, you said you are a professor in um, Christian theology that teaches about God from Christian perspective, and you are also a professor in African traditional religion. Yes. Does that teach about God as well, too, sir? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, looking at both, what is the difference between the two um, studies, sir?
Yes. Did you get my question, Daddy? Yes. Now I get what I get your I get your question. I I, I, I get I get your question. Uh, I'm not a professor of African traditional religion, but as I said, I study uh, Christian theology from African perspective. There is Christian theology in itself. I hope so. I hope I get it. Yeah, go ahead, sir. We are listening. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I teach courses, I teach courses in both Christian studies. I teach courses in Christian theology, Christian studies, and African uh, uh, courses also in African traditional religion and culture. I teach uh, courses in both disciplines. Okay. But I'm okay. what is the difference not between the of the African that? Christian theology? What is the difference between the two? Can you tell us the difference between studies? The, the the basic difference is in the differences of the two religions. Please come again with that question. I, the question is, what is the difference between these two studies? Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. the difference is is the difference is in the fact that the two are not the same religions. One is different from the other. Uh, African traditional religion, yes, that's what I'm trying to explain. That's what I'm trying to explain. That the, the difference is basically in the fact that African Christian theology is different from Christian, the Christian theology. African traditional religion is a primary religion. It's not an, an historical religion. Christianity is a historical religion that is that developed around a person, Jesus of Nazareth. But African traditional religion has no human origin. Its origin is rooted in myths. Though. though practiced by historical human beings. So the two, you know, the Christianity is a Trinitarian religion. It has its own belief system. African traditional religion has its own belief system, which is not uh, around a particular person, but direct to God and his divinities, like, like angels to Christians. But Jesus has an historical person who lived, uh, and Christianity is created around his name. Even though he was not a Christian, he did not preach Christianity. Uh -huh. So African traditional religion is rooted on God himself and his divinities and creatures. We look to God, Christians look to Jesus Christ, they believe in the Trinity. African traditional religion does not believe in any Trinity. There is only one God. And, and nothing is equal to him or superior to him. That is the fact of the case. Thank you, sir. Now, you mentioned something about uh, Jesus wasn't a Christian. Why did you say so? Because everybody that uh, say they believe in Jesus are called Christian. Then why did you say Jesus was never a Christian, sir? No, Jesus was never. Jesus was never a Christian. He was a Jew all he his Jew. life. He practiced Judaism all his life. He never had the name Christian. He didn't know what Christianity means. Even when they call him. 
when they ask him whether he has brought uh, the, the salvation promised by God to the Jews, he said that one is in the hand of God. So as far as this source of Nazareth is concerned, because again, we have to distinguish between this source of Nazareth and Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Christian God. They believe the whole world. But Jesus of Nazareth did not even accept, and of course, This is interesting. Network. And he's using Wi Fi. You. Ah, uh, okay. Eja ke kwe won. Talo ni red dead. Shori nyo buru. Who has that red dead? Who has that red dead on my comments? Shori nyo buru. That's what I'm doing. Trying to do now. I think network. That's what I'm trying to do. I love I love that aspect where he just mentioned something that Jesus of Nazareth is different different than Jesus. Ah <laughs> oh God. So you just have to be patient to oh, hold on. No. Yes, sir. Uh, no, uh, so let's just go on with WhatsApp. So Emma Soroni and Lodaji, we will go, go on with WhatsApp, sir. With WhatsApp? Yes, sir. Let's go on, sir. I okay. think that would be better. Yes, sir. People can hear you. So I should, I should switch this off for WhatsApp? Let's go on, sir. Bashi once you don't need to go back to Facebook. Let's talk like this now, sir. Hello? 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 Yes, we can hear you, sir. Okay. Yes, I go on, sir, with your explanation. So you uh, were... Uh, okay, I was saying that uh, Christian Christianity is basically a religion of African traditional religion. Because African traditional religion is a religion that is rooted in God himself sending human beings down uh, to come and create the world under his own authority. But Christianity is an historical religion that developed within history around a person, Jesus of Nazareth. Uh, yeah. But he himself was not a Christian. He didn't preach any religion, as a matter of fact. Not even the Judaism that he practiced himself. He did try to invite people to. <coughs> he was just preaching about God, <coughs> love of God, lot of love, love of neighbor, for human beings to see themselves as children of one <coughs> Father, God, so that they can have mercy for one another. They can. Uh, be sympathetic, <laughs> empathetic, and all of that. That was his concern. But the concern of Christianity is different. It's a religion that it, uh, tried to <coughs> make people to believe that Jesus Christ was the savior of human beings. Hmm. Even though you ask yourself, what did he save human beings for? As far as the Jews, his own people are concerned, he did not save them. And as a matter of fact, he was born during the reign of the Romans, and he died under the, Rom the reign of the Romans. Whereas the savior that the Jews were waiting for was the one who would liberate them from all human uh, rule, which he did not, not achieve. But how Christian turned around to say that he saved the whole world is the question. And what did he save human beings from? Hmm. Are human beings safe? So that's the issue. And I've always said, Jesus Christ is the 
uh, Christian God because they see him as God. But for African traditional religion, there is no other God than God. All this issue of calling the divinities gods is, uh, is a misplacement to demonize African traditional religion as a polytheistic religion. Well, thank God you are Yoruba yourself. You can see that there is nothing else called Olonu in Yoruba. There is nothing else called Olodumari in Yoruba. And throughout Africa, the name for God is not shared by any other uh, being, small or big. So uh, historical religions have their own characteristics. Islam, uh, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. They are always warlike. They always try to convert people uh, by, through whatever means. And you know that African traditional religion is not looking for converts. It's not uh, making any missionary move to win people to itself. It's a religion that is rooted in God. It is believed that God is able to call anybody he wants to call, address anybody he wants to address without intervention of any human being. So that is the basic difference between the two religions. One is pushing to win the whole world for God. The other one says the God is the owner of the whole world. You don't need to fight to win the whole world for him. Hmm. Thank you, sir. Now, um, considering what you have just said, I'm going to ask another question, sir. Now, okay. the, where did this pushing came, come from? Whereby it is like you just have to accept. Where did that pushing come from since you are so rooted in that studies? How did it start? Whereby it is, because according to history, uh, it is not the only religion existing. There have been millions of, I mean, thousands of religions existing even before Christianity. Where did this uh, pushing narrative of everybody have to be born again, everybody have to accept? Where did that narrative come from, sir? Uh, well, I've always said Judaism, Christianity, Islam are political religions. Oh. Political, economic religions. Political and economic so, religions. Political Why did you say so, economic. sir? Why, sir? Pardon? Why? Why, Why? did you say so? so? Uh, you know, when you are asking me where did this push to yes, do sir. for converts and to make people believe come from, you don't know that when you gather people and you are controlling them, you are playing politics. Uh -huh. Oh. And from controlling people, you make money. They are submitted to you, they pay money to you to, 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 to govern them, to run the church, to run the mosque, to run the synagogue. Mm. So it, it is political because you have to gather people and control them. You know, you know the language now, my, my sheep. Yes, my sheep. Is that where the word comes from? Sheep. So they are, they are your sheep. You, you can sell your sheep. You can slaughter your sheep. You can do anything you like with your sheep. You can also lead your people, your, your sheep. You can, you can protect your sheep. Uh, but you know, when you protect your sheep, you are looking something from your sheep, which is money. You are the owner of the ship. Ship is an economic venture, isn't it? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. So, uh, they may say it's God, 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 but when you look at it, from building house to God, uh, for God, to building house for the cleric, mm. so they, they build their own earthly kingdoms or not. As you can see, it's visible. It's historical. And this existential. So these are not these are not ordinary religions. If we are to be frank with ourselves, it's hmm. not, you know God will not need you to go and confer the whole world for Him. He is the owner of the world. Nobody is contesting it with God. Hmm. So the impression is created that they have to uh, convert people to God. They have to tell people about God. How do you tell somebody about His Father? God is our Father. God is our creator. He, he, he doesn't need any intervention, any human intervention to win the whole world. But he's in the gospel now. Uh, go out to the whole world and win the whole world. Hmm. Ah. So uh, who wrote it? Is it not Christians? It's a Christian scripture. They package it. Judaism is packaged by some people. And so any other religion that is historical religion. They package it. Is the 
package it, when they come to Africa, they they have they how they will convert you, how they will give you a new name. Everything is a, a is a plan, it's a strategy. Mm. That is what it is. Go out to the whole world and convert the whole world. For, for who? For themselves. Are they not the controllers? When they when you succeed in gathering people who believe in you in what you are teaching, you begin to milk them. Mm. And that's why all these uh, historical religions are stinkingly rich. They are wealthy religions. Wow. And their clerics must be uh, ostentatiously dressed as a sign of God blessing them. But of course, they are making money from their quarters. They are territorial religions. They have religion, my parish, my diocese, my church, my congregation. You know, all these are political and economic. But you know, African traditional religion, on the other hand, is an annual religion. Once we finish the festival, till another festival, the rest is prayer. God will bless you. God will go with you. We will sleep well. We thank God we wake well. Oh, you are already going. So we begin to pray for one another until another festival. It's not a daily religion or a weekly religion. Hmm. I don't know the extent to which you are familiar with African traditional religion. The difference is clear. So anybody trying to build a house of God like this religions is actually bastardizing our heritage. Hmm. Thank you. Religion. They emphasize religion. What we emphasize is your conduct, your character, your, your moral. Behavior. We mm. treat you according to your character. We don't treat you according to your religion. Now, talking because about character, Africa, sir. We ask, what is your religion? Thank you, sir. Just concerned. Now, talking yeah, about character, talking about character and morals and all the things you just mentioned, uh, yes. we find out that we are we thought when you go to church or places of worship, these are things that should be preached to people you know, for them to have good morals and all that. But we find out that that is lacking these days in a um, religious gathering. All we find out is um, somebody standing up and boasting of what they have and all that. How can we, can we relate it to the greed we have in our midst today, sir? Is it possible to relate it to it? Uh, I, I told the end, I I missed the conclusion of your question so as to grasp the gist of it. Okay. I said, I said, so considering okay. what you just you said now, or, uh, uh, uh -huh. I said, considering what you just said about conduct and everything, that you just go to, in yes, those that, yeah, I said, considering that, I said, these days what yes. we have in churches and places of religion is preaching of yes. money, somebody pointing to themselves, or now they have been blessed and everything. And now okay, in our generation, yes, in our society, we are seeing people running after money and doing anything they want for money. I said, can we relate it to how they have been preaching? Is it possible? You know, as I've told you, you go back to my starting point, political, economic, religious. That's their focus. That's their focus. Anything to the contrary is deception. That's why they hardly talk about love of God, uh, God and neighbor. But how they will empower you, they will dry away full spirit from you, they will enrich you, even though they are enriching themselves. It's just a way of... So they don't really... They are not focused on what... You know, Jesus said it now. He said, you people are happy on tithes. You are not happy on the weightier matters of the law, which is justice, mercy, love of God and neighbor. You have sidetracked that. So we have to go back to the word of Jesus of Nazareth. But I mean, I, distin I distinguish between Jesus of Nazareth and Jesus Christ of the Christians. 
So what is the difference between Jesus of Nazareth and the Jesus of these Christians? So you keep saying that. Can you tell us the difference? Yes, the difference is very clear. When you read the Lord's Prayer, you will find that his whole point is from the Father. Our Father who art in heaven. He said, when you pray, turn to your Father who is in heaven and say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, that will be done on earth. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. But the point is that you see that he didn't point to himself at all. He is focused on the Father. Mm -hmm. That is this. But when you see on that passage, I and the Father are one. To have seen me is to have seen the Father. Uh, and without me, you will wither. All those belong to Jesus Christ. The, the, so that is the I Jesus of the Christians. I can distinguish, pardon? I said that is the Jesus of the Christians, not Jesus of Nazareth. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So it are we? Are you Christ. saying there are two Jesuses? One was packaged for people? There is only one Jesus. But that Jesus has been recreated by Christians into Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. It was recreated. Uh -huh. For political gains, exactly. political political old, exactly political economic. Let's Eco political economy. Now I get it. Now, uh -huh. sir, it was repackaged uh -huh. and sold. Uh -huh. Exactly, exactly. Thank exactly. you, sir, for the clarity. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Thank you for the clarity, sir. You are welcome. You are welcome. Go ahead, sir. Now you can continue. Ah, okay. Well, uh, it's just to say that. Um, I think I've lost my line of uh, thought. The conversation, uh, okay. Yes, I don't know if I've answered the question that you asked or uh, I'm still in the process. You, 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 you try to answer it, but you can go on, probably on another discussion, sir. <laughs> okay. We are, everybody's enjoying this. I'm really enjoying it. All right, let me say this, that people who are interested can get good church history books they will find how christianity was created hmm. it, it was hmm. a conciliar thing it was a council it was a at council of nicaea constantinople and so on that they decided that jesus is the christ and beyond that that is of equal substance with the Father. That means it's equal with God. So it is a conciliar decision. That means a decision taken by council. By some group of so people. It, by bishops. By a group of bishops. It, they call it ecumenical council. That means the bishops came from all over the Christian world of that time. In 325. Hmm. In 300, so it was at Nicaea that it was decided that this Jesus is the Christ. That hmm. means the anointed one of God, who, who is of equal substance with the Father. Hmm. And they came up, they came up with the Trinity doctrine, saying that, that there that is God that God is three persons in, in one. one. Meta local. Yes. Meta local. Hmm. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Hmm. So the issue again is how you distinguish between a person and the spirit. Hmm. That's a big question, uh, sir. At all. Which only Christians can I want to call only shall I I want to call only shall I <laughs> this is where the slogan comes from that you can never understand the things of the spirit. <laughs> talk, 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 talk. I trust you, man. I trust you. <laughs> Go on, so I'm really enjoying this. Okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, no. So, uh, and when they say Jesus is both God and man, I don't know if 
if you are familiar with Christian doctrine, that's the Christian. Yes, doctrine. I am very you know, familiar. <laughs> uh, uh, so I, I, I should think so. So uh, I, I should agree. So the they say Jesus is both God and man. You now ask yourself, how is it possible for light and darkness to be one? Hmm. Because for human beings, you are not a human being if you are sinless. So if Jesus was man, then he must be, he cannot be 100% holy like God. Hmm. So you either call him ordinarily, okay, let me put that way, ordinary. You either call somebody a human being or you call him God. Hmm. But when you say he is both God and man, how can a man be without short coming without weakness it's not possible when you say somebody is my you know the expression now human beings being what we are mm. Aha. so well, so how can somebody then be human being and be god at the same time so i always unfortunately i always tell people that christianity christian doctrine is the most confused i've seen as a comparative religious scholar Come again, sir. Your last statement, As sir. The, 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 yeah, that Christian doctrine mm -hmm. is the most confusing I found as a comparative religious scholar. Wow. And the confusion is, as I've told you, when you say somebody is both God and man, I don't know any other person characterized by that in all my studies. When you say God is three in one, you know it's peculiar to Christianity. I don't know because uh, nobody has monopoly of knowledge. Maybe you have idea of other people claiming Trinity for God. No, there is the only religion claiming Trinity. Three no, in no, one. No, no, no. That's the only no, religion. No, no. That's the only religion. And saying that somebody, a carpenter, a carpenter, because Jesus was a carpenter, he learned carpentry from his father, Joseph. And he was doing carpentry. You know, he started his ministry at the age of 30. So what was he doing before becoming a prophet of God? He was a carpenter. Hmm. From there, he, he, he got the inspiration to be prophet of God. And now canonized as God by Christians. Hmm. So, but I, you know, of course, that the Jews, don't see him as the expected messiah no they don't they don't because he didn't do what the expected messiah was expected to do and if you go to the gospels you will find jesus saying that belongs to the father alone when they ask him will you now restore the kingdom to israel i'm quoting the christian scripture will you now restore the kingdom to israel he said no, that is for the father to decide, meaning that he is saying, I am not the expected Messiah. Because the expected Messiah was expected to liberate the Jews from their political oppressions and domination. Hmm. Whereas he was born under the, dom the Roman domination and died under the Roman domination hmm. over the, the Jews. So how can you call, how can, how, for, on what basis we they then see him as the expected Messiah, as the Christ, as the Christ. But as I said, Jesus of Nazareth is very clear in the Bible, if you know the principle. He says, when they ask him, will you now restore the kingdom to Israel? He said, no, that belongs to the Father alone to decide in his own time. Now, sir, you mentioned something, sir. He dissociated sir. himself. Uh -huh. Uh, um, me, if I go back with question, I don't want to forget the question, sir. You mentioned something now, Carry sir. On, you said uh, mm -hmm. Jesus of uh, oh, that's the was I know the question I wanted to ask you. Maybe I should just depend on it. Uh, yes, talking about uh, is somebody coming back? Jesus coming back? Uh, oh, okay. Is it part of the packaging too, sir? Well, 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 I don't know, really. I don't know because I must confess, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because <laughs> if it was part of the package, it's not realized. 
his coming back was supposed to have happened during the lifetime of his apostles. Oh, not now. No, no, uh -uh. Say, say, you know, so, did he tell you or he told his apostles? You know, you know, they keep telling us. I remember as a six, seven years old girl, I've been, I can yeah. remember vividly, I've been hearing he's coming back again and we should be prepared. Ah. Yes, sir. Yeah, and this is uh, said, almost 50 2000 years. years ago, 2,000 years ago, when he said it to the apostles, not to you and me. In your studies, sir, did he really say it to his apostles that he's coming back, sir? Uh, well, well, how can you... Uh, well, that's what the gospel, they wrote it. Who wrote the gospel? Say, be a Christian. Is it not written by Christians? That's what they wrote for us. Oh, okay. It was part of the story they wrote for us. No, it's, it's there. It's there. It's there in the Gospels. As for being there in the Gospels, yes, it's there in the gospel saying that he will come back. He even said, he even says in the Gospel that before you go around the 12 tribes of Israel, I will have come back. So it is a prophecy that was not realized in the lifetime of those he told he was going to come back. So he, let alone you and you and I. Let alone us two two thousand years after. Exactly. Mm. He said it to those people that before you go around the twelve tribes of Israel, I will have come back. Now, based on this question, now sir, another question just arise going to arise. Now mm. we look at the pastors of today's generation we see the way they amass wealth and one question that comes to my own mind each time i see the way they go after amassing wealth and you know investment is if truly they are not privy to the truth that you are telling us now that these things are packaged that the pastors of today they know the story that there is nobody that is coming back and no. could that be the reason why they are amassing wealth so much and keeping it for their generations yet unborn sir but i've told you that these religions are religious econo uh, political economic i just yes sir you said so sir you know so amassing wealth is a church not amassing waste well, they are, sir. Is Judaism is not amassing well? They are. Is it Islam that is not amassing well? They are. They are very rich. Arab they is acquire, very rich. They acquire land. They acquire land. They acquire population, people. They acquire territory. Hmm. My Emirates, my Dauces, my parish, hmm. my whatever. Hmm. Territory and people. So that's politics. That's money. So if if their members are doing it, okay, ma, will you be noted in a church where you have no money? Will you be recognized? No, sir. Uh, you, 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 well, now, okay, let us put it this way, ma. You, you will be recognized, but will you be given prominence? No. The only thing they can recognize me for, sir, if I don't have uh -huh. money. It's probably as a cleaner, somebody that is uh -huh. doing service for God. Exactly, exactly. Somebody exactly. that can be exactly. coming to chair um, church regularly exactly. on time exactly. to come and clean chair. Exactly. That way they will recognize me as a faithful exactly. servant. Exactly. But when it coming to sitting in front of the uh, altar. No, I can't be there. What do I have, sir? Being put, being put in a special place in the church. No. Sitting on special chairs in the church. No, I can't be there. Who we met? Hey, you know, that is it now. So, and they cannot. Uh, let me tell you, ma. When they are looking for money, they don't really mind how you got that money. Hmm. They don't care. Yes, sir. You are right. They don't. They don't care. If 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 our president, President Tinubu, can cough out ninety billion billion. Hmm. For free green. money to 